Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Rocky Mounts Monorail 2-Bike Platform Rack here on our 2015 Toyota RAV4. So this is going to be an awesome way, guys, if you're looking for a nice, secure platform to go ahead, clamp onto two or potentially three bikes later on. What's awesome about it, we do have a front tire hold, so that makes it really nice and secure. Can allow us to carry our carbon frame bikes, swim bikes, step-through bikes, kids' bikes with no problem, and still going to be really nice for your big old mountain bikes, as you're seeing here today. So we do have a 48 inch wheelbase with 29ers on here today, letting you guys know, yes, you're going to be okay to even carry these big standard guys that are going to be coming down the pipeline soon, which is great. So love to see this rack working in really, really well. What's nice too, we do have those blue contact points. I just like Rocky Mounts. They seem simplistic, yes, but they just do a great job going ahead and holding on your bike and getting there in no time flat, which is great. So, like I said, we got the front tire hold here on our back cradle. We do have this oscillating cradle, which is really, really nice, letting us account for our longer wheelbases, like you kind of are seeing here in the back. But what I really like about it too is that front cradle. It gives us a great little backer to make sure that, yes, even if we are hanging just a little bit here in the back, we're getting a really, really good secure hold on our front tire, which is great. Now, the one thing I'll say to it, we do have this front tire hold here. We have this fender. Yes, you can go ahead and start cramping down on here, but that can start damaging your aftermarket fenders. Um, that's something to definitely kind of avoid. So if you guys are having those big fenders, they might get in the way and they might prevent you from having a secure fit on that front tire. So going to leave that up to you guys and how you guys want to go ahead and clamp it on there, but definitely is something to kind of watch. Um, that strip here in the front, nothing too crazy going on. Just goes ahead and actually secures that, which is great to see. Now you are getting a 60 pound capacity per bike for a total of 120 capacity, which is excellent. Now, uh, sorry, I can't really speak to the three bike platform. I don't actually think it lowers that capacity. Definitely recommend going ahead and checking out that product page to make sure I'm giving you guys the right info on that. But again, that can be a nice way of extending this to a three bike platform rack, which is nice to go ahead and start out, right? Maybe we wanna go ahead and take another rider with us. We can slot that extension in and go ahead and do that, which is really, really cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show us also that we can actually tilt this away from our vehicle. To do that, I just have a little pull pin here. I just simply need to pull it. That's gonna let me rotate that down. Now it actually tilts quite far there. You guys can see uh, getting really, really low. But that is also because we are here on our Toyota RAV4. Our hitch is already sitting a little low. Love to see that we don't have contact though, even on the RAV4 here today. And I'm gonna kinda watch this as I open it. Not the happiest where this pedal might be. Yeah, we're doing okay. It always gives you that kind of moment of uh, hesitation there, right? And our handlebars, even with them being really long, we had clearance there. That's excellent. Now I can get this bike helmet, coolers, anything else I might need from the inside of here, get it out in no time flat, which is great to see. So. So go ahead and close that down. When I walk this up, there's no pins or clips I have to worry about. All I have to do, walk it up. It's gonna click itself in place. Pardon me, I'm gonna wait for that door to close and then I can just walk it right up. It's gonna click in place. We're good to go, which is excellent. So not gonna take me too much longer to get this bike off. Before we do though, let's go ahead and see how it's interacting here on the back of our RAV4. So, from the back, looks like we're getting a little bit of interference there, right kind of at our tail light height. Now, what's good about it though, we do have really good distance here, so that emittance of that light really shouldn't be impacted too much, um, but definitely is something to kind of consider, so let's make sure we're breaking an appropriate time to let everybody know behind us when we are doing that. Now, we do have an offset camera here too with our backup camera. Now, as you get two bikes on here, especially three later on maybe, that's really gonna be impacting that camera. As it sits though right now, just the one, I think we'd get enough uh, kind of clearance out the back to see a little bit, but definitely is gonna be impacting it with almost any carrier out there. Well, to get our bike released, really isn't gonna take any time. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop off this back one here. To do that, I just need to press in on that lever. That's gonna go ahead and allow me to take my strip up and out of the way, get it set on the other side. And that does bring us to our last hold on our bike, albeit still very nice and secure. All I have to do, press in on that lever, just like so, bring that up to the top, out to the side, of course, making sure you're having a good hold on your bike as well. And we simply wanna get in close, lift it off, and get ready to ride, which is awesome. So definitely doesn't take too much time, as you guys can see just to get that up and ready to go. 
Part of me as I set the bike down. But yeah, all, all we have to do now is to go ahead and condense this. I like to go ahead, put my front cradles down just to go ahead, make it a little, a little nicer. Actually, let's go ahead and take a quick look at that front right cradle one more time. We do have that nice 18C standard groove right there in the middle, doing a great job of holding our smaller bikes and widening out here. Let's go ahead and get a quick little measurement with that. You got about four and one quarter inches of usable space on that inside, so definitely gonna be nice. And one thing that's actually great about the monorail too, it already comes with a couple fat bike adapter kits. So all you have to do with that, it plugs right into your strip, goes on this side, and then you have double the strap length to go ahead and secure those larger tires, which can be excellent. So love to see Rock, uh, Rock Mount's always kind of helping us out in a little bit of regards, which is excellent. And let me go ahead and fold that up, get it nice and condensed. So with any kind of hitch mounted accessory, there's gonna be a couple dimensions we're gonna look at. First big one is gonna be our clearance here in this position to make sure that we get our bike safely without having any interaction here with the road. So our lowest point of contact here today in the furthest position is gonna be right here at the edge. And that's gonna be putting you at 18 and one quarter to that lever, cause that might be kind of right in the way. That's gonna be 16 and three quarters of an inch. So definitely a pretty good amount of spacing there. Don't think we're gonna have too much issue. However, we are sitting a little low already on that hitch with the RAV4, and if those front wheels go up, the back will go down, and so will your hitch-mounted accessories. So if you find yourself approaching a really steep terrain, it might be something to kind of watch as we take it nice and slow, but I really don't think we're gonna have too many issues, which is great to see. We have a really nice rise in that inner assembly, making sure that our bikes sit well enough out of the way of the ground. But to go ahead and actually see how much length we're adding here to our Toyota RAV4, I'm gonna go ahead and from the back of our bumper here today to the very end of our carrier, that's gonna put us at 31 and a half. Uh, we'll say 31 and three quarters right to the end of that knob there. So really not too much length that we're adding on there and we do have a way of shortening it down. To do that, we're gonna go right back to that blue lever we were at earlier. Instead of allowing it to tilt down, I'm gonna bring it right up into position here. It's gonna go ahead and lock back in. And this spot too, very little wiggle, which is great to see. You're not gonna be hearing it or rattling in the back of here, which is awesome. And that's really gonna shorten down a lot of our length. So from the back of the bumper here today to the back, that's 14 inches from the back of the bumper. Definitely not too much length. Now we can get this pulled in the garage, or at the very least, give ourselves some maneuverability when we wanna go park it. In this position too, what I like, at least for the two bike version, we're not impacting those taillights, which is great to see. This becomes excellent to let everybody know where we are. Brakes, reverse, no matter what, we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. And I love to see that we are above that backup camera, allowing us to have that full view. That way we can go ahead and back up safely. Moving our way down to the inside here though, we do have this little guy right here. This becomes excellent to run your included cable lock through both of your bikes, plug it in right here and have it nice and secure. That way nobody can take your bikes when you leave it unattended, which is excellent. You are seeing a little bit of adjustment available here as well. So if you wanna offset your bikes, if you're having like pretty similar bikes that are right at the same height, just keep running into each other with those seat posts and the handlebars. You can go ahead and change these around. Got about three inch difference there you can go ahead and set which can be really nice like i said to offset your bikes but moving our way down to the inside we can see we have a two inch shank here today held in by our two inch hitch pin our anti-rattle hitch bolt i should say now this guy does an excellent job pretty standard across the industry yes but you still love to see him as i give this guy a shake it's going to shake the entirety of the vehicle as you guys are seeing, that means we're all in line with one system with our frame, taking out that shake and play, making for a nicer, smoother ride for ourselves, our bike rack, but especially our bikes, which you love to see. And on the very inside of that too, you are seeing a locking core that will be key to like to the locking core that comes with your cable lock. That way you can go ahead and make sure that you guys have that spare you need. If you're like me, a little forgetful, and uh, to go ahead and reduce that keychain size down, which is very, very nice. Overall, I think the Rocky Mounts Monorail 2 is just an excellent bike rack. It's delivering on everything you want. In my mind, it, it just really doesn't have too many failings. Maybe that the cable lock you have to run yourself and it's right not there on the, on the end of the arm like you might see from a premium carrier. But other than that, it's giving you everything you want, right? We got that 60 pounds per bike, which is gonna be excellent for most any bike we take out there nowadays. It can tilt away, it's got a good hold, just does everything you could really want. In my mind, it doesn't really need a comparison because it's how good it is. Um, one that's not so great, it could be the Yakima Holdup. I just don't think it's as good of a carrier. It is kind of in the same kind of vein, kind of same kind of area. Um, so that one could be one you look at if you're not too happy with what you're seeing here today. But in my mind, the Rocky Mounts uh, just is the way to go. Otherwise, though, guys, I think that about does it for our look here today at the Rocky Mounts Monorail 2 here, two-bike platform rack here on our 2015 Toyota RAV4. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.